Do you know that God loves you so much that he can give you a fresh beginning? He created you to fulfill a divine purpose on earth because he genuinely cares about you. The Lord doesn't want to lose you to the wickedness, immorality, and corrupt habits of the world. Instead, he wants you to fellowship and devote yourself to him genuinely. But do you know many faithful brethren have fallen into a reprobate state? What is a reprobate mind? It is a mind that constantly questions the truth of the gospel of the Lord. It is a mind that always provides worldly meaning to every word in the Bible. Such a mind has different interpretations of the word and gospel of the Lord. It is an evil and deceiving mind that is always looking for ways to discredit the teachings and instructions of the word of God. In addition, it is a mind that focuses on doing things that are not right in the sight of the Lord. The book of Romans chapter 1, verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient. When lifestyles lead to a reprobate state, it leads to all forms of sinful behavior and actions, including the ones mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 29 to 31. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. A child of God needs to take these verses to heart, be careful and alert in the spirit not to allow to be corrupted by these wicked vices. Instead, strive to seek the righteousness of the Lord, honor God wholeheartedly in all areas of your life, including thoughts and desires. A reprobate mind makes you lose sight of the truth and reduce the meaning of the divine word of the Lord. It questions and compares the worldless things to the content of the Bible. Such a mind is not passionate about the unsaved soul, it shows no interest in God's business and avoids any gathering of the faithful. An individual with a reprobate mind will find it difficult to pray, fast, or even read the word of God. Therefore, it will be challenging to worship the Lord in truth and spirit, serve and honor the Lord, or attend church services. In case you are doing all these activities effortlessly before but now find it difficult, you may need to check yourself to test if you are not in a reprobate state. The book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. A true child of God must be aware of the dangers of a reprobate mind if such a brethren is willing to fulfill a God-given purpose on earth. A reprobate mind will prohibit a child of God from carrying out God's assignment in righteousness, faithfulness, and humility. Engagement in malicious acts, such as immoral, wicked, and corrupt things, kill the desire and hunger for the teachings of the Lord. Furthermore, evil thoughts and behaviors kill the love and compassion of God and replace them with hatred, pride, and disobedience. Faithful children of God must guard their thoughts and walk in the light of God. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. As Christians, we must constantly examine our hearts and minds and ensure that we don't stray from the true teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christians must be vigilant and avoid minds corrupted with wickedness, lust, and immorality. A reprobate mind is a mind that God rejects, as we read in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 28. God gave people that did not retain him in their knowledge to reprobate minds, and they did what was not convenient for them. Out of a reprobate mind comes sexual immorality, slander, and other acts of evil. A saved child of God that wants to lead a righteous life with a focus on eternal life in Christ must beware of reprobate minds, guard thoughts and always walk in the light of God. Believers should be careful in their daily activities, as those not aligned with God's plan can easily lead to probate minds. Apostle Paul said in the 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient, all things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. The verse reminds us that not all engagements are healthy and godly for the life of believers. Believers put themselves in danger of having a reprobate mind when they stop applying the word of God in different aspects of their life. The word of God guides and directs the ways of authentic Christian living. 
The Word of God says in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Hence, the word corrects, refreshes, trains, rebukes, warns and instructs humanity to live by the will of the Lord. But, on the other hand, a reprobate mind despises the wise instructions of the word of God and never cares about God's perfect will and plan. It despises correction and warnings that lead to righteousness. This leads to sin, and as we are all aware, sin leads to destruction and death. The book of Romans chapter 6, verse 23, warns us about the dangerous effect of engaging in sins. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It could mean the death of spiritual alertness, faith in God, authentic Christian living, hope, favor, grace, happiness, kindness, success, love, relationships, peace, and other benefits of beings on the Lord's side. The human mind is powerful in determining the actions shown or portrayed on the outside. This is why it is crucial for believers, true believers of the gospel of Christ, and servants of the Most High God, to guard their thoughts. The Bible says in Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 7, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he, eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Our Heavenly Father desires that we avoid falling into the trap and temptation of activities that could lead us to a reprobate state. He provides a way of escape as he promises in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful, he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. When Joseph found himself in a situation where Potiphar's wife trapped him, he remained sober-minded and faithful to God. As a result, the Lord provided a way for him to escape, and he did not fall into sin. Is your state of mind sober enough in heavenly and godly things that you can be trapped like Joseph and still stand firm in the Lord? God instructs us to focus on the truth and stand by the truth. How can a child of God escape the reprobate minds? An individual with a reprobate mind needs total rededication to the Lord. So first, he needs to return to the Lord Jesus Christ and rededicate his or her life. Then, the Lord Jesus Christ will give you a new beginning with an assurance of eternal gains. In the book of John, chapter 6, verse 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. The second point focuses on the word of God. The Word of God is made available to us to enlighten us on His truth. The Bible is the ultimate source of truth. It is reliable and trustworthy. Therefore, aligning your thoughts with the Word of Truth is a wise choice to prevent any reprobate state. Jesus used God's Word to overcome the devil's deception and temptations. The truth in the Word of God outshines the enemy's lies. Therefore, as an excellent medicine to souls, a child of God should make it a daily routine to read the Word of God, understand it, meditate on it, and put it into practice. Doing this constantly will prevent a reprobate state, provide divine help to guard your thoughts, and help you walk in the light of God. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 105, buttresses that the word of is a lamp. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. With the word of God as a lamp, it will be easier to avoid any activities that lead to a reprobate state. Fear of God is a wise choice in a sinful life full of challenges and tricks that can make even the elect fall. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. A child of God must fear the Lord and pray to grant the grace to discern when any engagement may lead to a reprobate state. These steps will help the believers to stay focused on the truth. When we fear the Lord, His wisdom automatically becomes our portion, which will help us avoid various vices that lead to a reprobate mind. Another point is that people around us influence our daily living lifestyle. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33, says, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. If you surround yourself with people with depraved minds, in no time, you will become like them. So, surround yourself with the right company, and have fellowship with the teachers of the word. 
Also, engage with people with godly influence who can help you to stay grounded in the truth by providing godly counsel and guidance. God warns us from sitting in the company of sinful people. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? Avoid the congregation of people that lead you astray from the path of righteousness and godly living. The book of Psalms chapter 1, verse 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Lastly, hold your faith steadfast in the Lord, and seek his righteousness in everything you do. Take your minds captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ by filling your mind with heavenly things according to the instruction of the Lord. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 5. Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Children of God should reject an engagement or activity that leads to a reprobate mind full of sinful thoughts, and the desire to do things that do not please the Lord. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Hence, reject everything unholy association in your life, and you will never fall into the pit of reprobate minds. A reprobate mind leads to a dangerous path of sin and rebellion against God. So instead, return unto Jesus as he is waiting for you, focus on the truth of God's word, pray for God's wisdom, surround yourself with the right company, and stand firm in faith and righteousness. If you are struggling with reprobate minds, let me pray with you. Say after me. Dear Lord, thank you for your love for me. Even if in my sinful or reprobate state, your word let me know that you still love me. Thank you for this privilege you are granting me today. I come to you with a humble heart and soul. I am helpless and do not have the power of my own to save myself from this reprobate mind. Please have mercy on me and forgive all my wrong engagements that lead to a reprobate state. Wash away my sins. I surrender my life to you. Give me a heart of flesh for your word to penetrate. Give you a new beginning with the total restoration of any loss. Bring back the first light and your salvation. Let your light illuminate away any trace of darkness in my life. From today henceforth, let your name be glorified. Bless me with the power of the gospel to help others know you and be saved. Lord, save me and write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Congratulations. Jesus Christ sets you free again. God bless you in Jesus' name, Amen.